In this tutorial in CyberLeague Power Director, I'd like to show you a better way to make a countdown timer. We have a tutorial we put up that shows you one way to do it, but it requires that you make a different slide for every second of your timer. We'd like to show you a way to do that and save three-fourths of the time and also make it portable when you're done. So what we're going to do is need four tracks, one for background, one for the number of minutes. We're assuming you're going to be under a 10 minute uh, countdown, one for the decimal seconds and then one for the individual seconds. So I'm going to take my my title tool and click on my default title and drag it down into track two. So here is the title. I'll press the F2 key to edit it. And then I'm just going to put in my information for my uh, uh, titler, which would be for my timer, 0, colon, 0, 0. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to make this really large so it fills the screen as much as possible. Uh, it won't necessarily do that in my finished product, but we'll show you more about that later. So there's my time. And I'd also like to take this and let's go ahead and add a border to it. I'll click on my border option here and I'm going to make it black. Now I won't see a black border on a black border, but I'll show you later why we're going to do that. So here is my time. So I'll click uh, OK. Now what I want to do is I want to replicate this. Um, so this would be the one that shows the minutes. So I'll uh, hold the control uh, C and copy. Uh, then I'll move down to uh, track number three. Highlight that. Control V to paste. Track four, control V to paste. So I have the three tracks overlaying each other. Now I need to change some other features. If this is going to be my single seconds, I'll get back here again. And now I want to make this seconds. I want to right align this. And then I'm going to delete the other zeros. So this particular one only controls my individual seconds. I click on OK. Then I go to the tenths of a second. I edit that. And what I want to do in this case is I want to preserve only this zero. So for now, I'll leave this left aligned. And I'll take the, take the last zero out. And now I'm going to move it back to right aligned and I'll take the other part out. So all I have is this. And now I'm OK there. And now I go to my actual minutes, my single minute track. Press the F2 key to edit that. And let's see, we're left aligned. I want that and I'll take these two out. So each track controls only one digit in my time. I'll click on OK. So um, now I have the three and they all overlay each other. The position is perfect. So what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and modify my individual seconds. I'll click on this and I will say, let's make this a duration of actually a second, which is all I need. And I'll uh, do zero one here and click on OK. I'm going to enlarge this so I can see better. Now I need to replicate this nine more times. Control C to copy and my cursor's at the end. I do Control V to paste. I press the N key, Control V a third time. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then we need to go in and change these only once. I'm going to start with nine and then we'll edit down through one here. So I, I go to my edit mode again. We'll start with a digit nine and say OK. And select the next one, F2. And we'll call this eight. And press OK. I'll pause while I do the rest of them. And now I've edited each of these once and I never have to edit this digit again anywhere in this program. Uh, no matter how long the count's going to be. And when we press our play, we see it counts down 9, 8, 7, 6, etc. Very nice. So what I'd like to do at this point in time is now we need to work on my second digit. 
and so we're going to copy this but we don't have to copy as many because this digit will only go from um, uh, 5 to 0 since there are only 60 seconds in a minute but what I have to do then if I want to do this right is I'll take this area co and, and highlight it to copy press the N key and control V whoops selected the wrong section here I'll make sure we get it all okay got that control C to copy control V there we go that would be the uh, four digit press the N key three digit N key two digit N key one digit N key and then the zero digit okay so all I have to do is replicate what I did before uh, double click this section here the first time it'll be five and we click on OK and then we go to the next one and we uh, edit this to be four and click on OK and I'll pause and I'll do the other ones and so now we've done uh, the second digit and that didn't take too long but there were, there were only uh, six of them to do and if I go ahead and hit the, hit the uh, play, it'll count down from the 50s uh, to the 40s to the 30s to the 10s to zero. And so that takes care of the second digit. There's only one more step to go. I'll pause this here. And that is my entire minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. And then we'll take our minute. We have to increase the duration of this to a minute and if I look here it's a minute 0.02 I'll just make that zero here oh that's close enough I think okay so that's one and so now we're going to take the entire grouping that we have so far and do control C and then we'll do V press the N key V N key V N key V N key I can do that for as long as I want I could do it up to nine uh, but I won't do that and then we obviously repeat what we've done before let me see how many I've got I've got one two three four five six so this would be start with five here if this was a six minute counter at five and then we do the next one edit it we do four okay and I'll go ahead and pause it again and we'll do the other three and now I have a six minute countdown timer there's one more thing I want to do and that's put a background in and I'll show you why we do that in a second I'm going to go to my media content room uh, go to my color board and I'll take this blue background and we'll put it behind all the letters okay and there we go now I have my timer what I recommend doing now if you want to make it portable is you take this and you produce it as a um, separate movie I'm going to do that and then show you how to bring it into a project now I've switched to a different project and I'd like to put a timer on the screen I have a video on track one. I'm going to take the timer uh, program that I produced from my exercise so far, drag it down into track number two. And then all I need to do is go ahead and resize it. That's why I wanted large numbers to start with. I'll make it a little bit smaller yet and we'll put it right about here move it down and then the other thing I need to do is if I uh, double click on it get to the edit mode all I need to do is go to my chroma key tool over in the properties uh, click on the eyedropper and then click on let's see chroma key eyedropper and then click on the blue and the blue will disappear and all I have left is my numbers click on OK and now I have my timer and I have the background there's where I put the black around the letters 
So now they'll stand out a little more clearly. Otherwise, if I eye dropped them, all I would see would be the white. And so I can go ahead and obviously I, I don't have a six minute clip, but I can play it and I get to see a little bit of what my timer looks like. Now, the nice thing about this is if I do it in this method, I can go ahead later on and I can say, well, I don't want it there. I want the timer to be over here. And I, and I don't have to do any editing. Now, I can't change the fonts, but I do have a timer that's totally portable uh, that I can use in any project I want uh, as often as I want. And I didn't have to pay for it. I just build it very quickly.